Hi folks, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about the production of my most recent album, which is entitled Reflections for Paul Horn. Of course, it's a tribute to Paul Horn, and I dedicated it to his wife, Anne Mordefee, and his two sons, Marlon and Robin. Um, it's a solo flute project uh, with flute tracks and alto flute tracks. Um, it's something of a bold undertaking for me, I suppose, with, with no accompaniment whatsoever. But all of the tracks are completely improvised, and all of the takes are just single, or one takes with no edits. So that's an interesting uh, feature of the performance itself. In terms of the, uh, the gear that I used, because I'm sure some of you might be interested in that, the first thing is to recognize that I recorded this album right where I'm sitting. Uh, so it was done here. I used uh, an Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone, which is this guy here. <laughs> and I also used a Focusrite audio interface. In terms of a, a DAW, I was using GarageBand. I performed this on a couple of instruments, as I say, a C flute, uh, a commercial, a very old commercial Haynes instrument, uh, and also on a quite old Armstrong alto flute. Uh, the commercial Haynes, is, this is what I actually practice on, so that's why I recorded it, because the instrument was close at hand. <laughs> I recorded it with reverb, but I took the dry, uh, unprocessed flute tracks uh, to Gary Hannes, of cool music here in Toronto to have it really nicely mixed and mastered. And he did an excellent job. And that was well worth uh, doing. Um, I, I don't, I'm not sure I can really say much more about it other than that I'm really pleased with the album. And it's been out for a couple of months now and it's been getting excellent reviews. So it would be great if you uh, saw fit to download it. Uh, the best place to get it probably is Bandcamp. The thing about Bandcamp is that I've mounted all the liner notes and the credits, so you can see those things. The album is available at all the other major music platforms, but of course you don't necessarily see the album notes or, or uh, personnel and that sort of thing. So if you want all of those details, you can find them at Bandcamp, with the music of course. So I'm really, really pleased with this project, and uh, I hope you might enjoy it too. So you can find it at Bandcamp, or anywhere else. So thanks very much for listening and uh, that's how Reflections for Paul Horn came into being. Thanks very much and that's it for now. Bye bye. <laughs>